Hi! I'm so glad that you're joining me today for another fun math lesson. For today's lesson, I'm going to be teaching you long division. Long division is so much fun once you get the hang of it. Now, before I start, I wanted to share a little something. When I was little, I learned all these different steps for solving a long division problem. But guess what? I didn't really understand what I was doing. So, it's really important as a mathematician, like you are, to understand exactly how you're getting that answer, not just following the steps. So let me show you today how using this play money, how you actually get a, an answer to a long division problem and how it works. So before I show you a problem and do one with you, I want to go over the parts of a long division problem first. So this problem, is read by saying 51 divided by 3. And what that really means is, I'm going to use this number 3, that's my divisor. That's the number that we are dividing by. You can think of it as the number of people that you're sharing with. 51, that is the dividend. And the dividend is the number that's being divided out or sharing equally. So I'm going to pretend today that I have $51 and I'm going to share this $51 equally among my three friends as best as I can. 17, that is the quotient. That's a fancy word for an answer to a division problem. And last but not least, this, this little bar here, that's called the long division symbol. Sometimes you might hear people calling it the long division bracket, or the long division house. Whichever one you choose will work just fine. So, are you ready? Let's get started. For our work today, you will need dun, 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 paper. You will need something to write with. You'll definitely need some hundreds, tens, and ones from a, a Monopoly game or a play cash register. And if you don't have play money, you could make your own. Just make sure that you label them 100 and tens and ones. I have some colored cards over here and th these cards are going to be my pretend people. Now, if you want to use toys, that's okay too. Whatever will help you understand the problem better. You know what's best for you. Okay, so I'm gonna get started and I'm gonna read you my sentence first, okay? I have 36, I'm going to pretend they're dollars. I have $36 divided by three people. And the three people that I'm going to be sharing with today are the people that work in my school. They are the special area teachers. Are you ready? We have Susie, the music teacher. Do, do, do. I have Ben, the PE teacher. Woohoo, Ben. And we have Megan, the art teacher. Yay, art. So I have my three special area teachers that I have to share with. And I have $36 and it's my job to split this money so that everyone gets their fair share. So this is how we're gonna do this. First, step number one is get your divisor ready. And we did that. I have my three people that I'm sharing with. Step number two. Make your dividend with the, with the cash. So let me show you how to do that. When you look at this dividend, 36, that really means I have three tens and six ones. So I'm gonna get my three tens, one, two, three. I have to build my number here. So there's 30, 10, 20, 30. And now I need six ones. One, two, Three, four, five, six. Six ones and three tens, it gives me $36 altogether. So I have my money ready and I'm gonna start sharing in just a moment. I wanna make sure everything's set up nice and neat. So if you notice on my paper, I'll hold it up for you, I have some steps here. We're gonna divide first, that means share the money out as best as we can, and then multiply, subtract, bring down, divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. These are the four steps. Now, if you want, you can write those in the corner of your paper too, 
And as you're learning how to do these kinds of problems, you can just look at this to make sure that you're remembering all the steps. Okay, let's get started. I'm gonna divide and I'm gonna start with my biggest place value, which is the 30, three, my three tens. Oh, I hope everyone can get their fair share. Let's see what's gonna happen. All right, Susie gets 10. Ben gets 10. And Megan gets 10. And I'm out of 10, so I can stop sharing my 10s. And I'm gonna record now, since I'm all out, how many 10s one person gets at the top of my bar here. So let me take a look. Because whenever we write down the answer, you're only going to write what one person gets. Don't forget that, it's a very important step. So it looks like each person just gets one 10. So that's what I'm gonna write up here, part of my answer, my quotient, one 10. Now down below comes the next step, multiply. I'm gonna to multiply to see how many 10s I used all together. So one 10 times three gives me three. Three tens. I used that many tens so far. So now the next step is subtract. I use three tens, so three tens take away three tens is zero tens. I have no tens left. And I can even look up here to check. No tens left. I used them all up. So now I need to start sharing my ones. And that, my friends, is where the bring down step comes from. I need to bring down my six ones, because I didn't use them yet. So I'm gonna bring down, I'm gonna take my ones like this and bring them down to start sharing. And that's where that comes from, the bringing down part. I'm gonna bring down the ones I didn't use and share them out as best as I can. So let's get started. One for Susie, one for Ben, one for Megan. I still have more ones, so I have to keep going. One for Susie, one for Ben, one for Megan. I'm all out of ones, so I can start recording my answer, or as you want to be, if you want to be fancy, my quotient. So remember, it's just what one person gets when I record up on the top, and it looks like. Hmm, one person gets two ones. They each got two ones. And now I'm going to multiply. I want to see how many ones I used up all together. So I have two, four, six. Two times three is six. I used six ones. And I'm going to subtract. I had six ones and I used up all my six ones. So six take away six is zero. I have zero cash left and it actually matches up here. I have no more cash left. And so now you can see that this $36, I was able to share it with my three friends and each friend got 12 all together. And I can double check. I can say Susie got 10, 11, 12. Yep. Ben got 10, 11, 12. Megan got 10, 11, 12. And look at that. I was able to share all of my money equally among my three friends. So now I'm going to read my number sentence to you. 36 divided by three equals 12. So I hope that you found this uh, lesson fun and I hope it helped you understand how exactly we got our answer and where all these steps come from. Uh, until then, I will see you next time and I hope you go practice some division problems with your play money. Bye!